नाम देवकी था हो जो मेरे बस्ती पातले भन्म तो अब फाउना महीना जन्म अरे नौ साल में जन्म Devaki Thapa of Nuwakot district was trapped for 3 hours before she was rescued by her neighbors. Paila yakashi chai yo dhoka lodyo ani palteu haina. Ami palta teso parisake sipo ani yo ghar ta ringe ko ta gamrak gumrum na gare mai sunya chukal. Male ab kete ho marin chai kya ba gannu ab ke huncha bhani maile अन्ना भाई एक दिन पच्चीस वहाँ किकी कर जाइ हाल तीन पल्ट किकी तैं छ मत एक बाबू दीपक दीपक मैं बचाई दे भाई बोलाई बोला ऊ धे न तीन घंटा पूरी शी लॉस्ट हर हस्बेन्ड एंड दाउस दे हेड बिल्ड बट दी अर्थ क्वेक हेज नट किल्ड हर होप अल साग सब ढिला खान तो सकने नहीं छु हमारा गाँव उमेर घर उ को भर्खर चढ़ उमे कमाऊला कुछ बिग्लिश घर ला Madhav Pandey and his wife are back to business after the earthquake destroyed their home. Like hundreds of others, they are determined to build a new home and begin a new life. अपने घर भतिया मं पाइन अभी आप जाने को आप सहयोग आप कोई सहयोगी को साथ लगे घर बनाने काम घर तो नबन सर टहरा इस बर्खा दुई महीना इसो ओत लगने किसिम के टहरा चाहे जे जस्तु जाना चाहिए तेरे बनाते गए सब भाग तो मर चाहिए हम कि अलग क्योंकि हम तो अलग पच्छी पड़े कई दस दुई चार वर्ष पच्छी झाला तईपन ये स्थिति न आए में हम अगड़ी बढ़ते जाना भाई आंदा अलग आशा छ The 7.9 magnitude earthquake caused Nepal an estimated loss of 7 billion US dollars, which is one third of the country's annual GDP, with over 8,500 people killed and over 22,000 injured, with many suffering permanent disabilities. The earthquake has directly affected 8 million people. One third of Nepal's population. Over half a million homes, including hundreds of school buildings, have been destroyed, and it is the poorest communities in rural and urban areas that have been the hardest hit. But since most of the physical damage was confined to the 14 crisis-hit districts, Nepal's only international airport was virtually unscathed, as were many major roads and highways. the total damages is around 7 billion us dollar so to recover this damages and to build nepal in a better way we need investment from every side yeah as you know we have many resources now people need housing people need electricity we need infrastructure we need tourism sector to enhance to boost so this is a right time to do different businesses in nepal until the earthquake Nepal had been gradually emerging from an armed internal conflict that had plagued the country's economy for decades. Just last year, Nepal and India had signed watershed agreements in the energy sector with commitments of over 3 billion US dollars. The already booming tourism sector showed further potential with international players like Marriott and Sheraton ushering in millions of dollars worth of investments in the hotel industry the earthquake followed by over 300 aftershocks has disrupted the economy in the short term but has done little to damage investor confidence especially in capital intensive industries like hydro and cement the people of the country were very resilient and brought the country back to normal major infrastructures are all intact we are committed to the socio economic development of the country nepal and i'm sure with this message from world at large all the stakeholders will come together come back to nepal and join together in building this beautiful country for the cause of the society this investment in our cement plant is not just going to be the first one we will be replicating the plant not only to meet the demands for the country but also for exports 
and it's, uh, as we find around here, it's not just the cement industry. There is a huge potential in the food business. There is huge potential in other businesses. And if we have the courage and the confidence to come all the way from Africa to, and invest in a massive capital intensive business here, in spite of all the negative images about earthquake and other problems, you can understand uh, other invest, for all the other investors in the various businesses, the potential is huge. Don't miss the opportunity. Nepal's new constitution is at the door. And we are entering into an era of rapid economic development. We withstood the mighty earthquake with unity and courage. Now we are collectively focusing on reconstruction and rebuilding. I believe the rejuvenated Nepalese are rising and we will see huge economic prosperity soon. Nepal is open for business. I welcome everyone to join hands for a modern Nepal. As the nation now moves towards rebuilding with the objective to build back better, the prime focus is now on infrastructure that is robust and resilient. We need a lot of resources. I'm not talking about just financial resources, but this process, I think, is going to also enhance the capacity, technical, know-how, and so forth of Nepal in terms to handle uh, you know, these large-scale projects. Investment Board was established about three and a half years ago, and our job is to make sure investors are happy investing in Nepal. They make the returns that they expect to, and we provide one-window service. For major industry, we have five-year, seven-year tax holiday and further, you know, discount in taxes and areas. So we, our fiscal policy is right. We have liberal import policy regime. So our tariff is low, particularly for import of technology. Our tariff is very low. Labor is very cheap here. We have one of the best climates on earth, Nepal. So there are all, you know, all political parties now are coming around the view that you know, you welcome foreign investment. Most of the areas, you can have 100% equity, foreign investment in equity. So we have a, you know, favorable environment for private investment and foreign investment. IPP Haruli Pani, I Kamgari Runway Kawastao, Pani Tula Jalasa Yukta, Aizana Lai, Hamile Kine Hamra Vidisi Man Babalai, Hami Avan Kada Janjo, Ki Tulu Lagani Pani Yam Nasaktasa, La Esko Cheni Lagani Pani, Hamru Lagani Matrovina, Tila Bitri Gane Market Pani, Hamru Dachin Mareka Rasta Rujan. Nepal has set aside a request for $7 billion for reconstruction and she would need all the support she can get to develop skilled manpower, boost small and medium scale industries and create thousands of sustainable jobs. Up until the earthquake, 1,500 migrant workers had been leaving the country every day in search of better opportunities abroad. Many of them are now back to help their families rebuild. Uh, the tremendous uh, support extended to the affected family by uh, youths 
remains a greatest source of strength and uh, enormous social capital of our society. Uh, we will have to utilize that opportunity to build new and prosperous Nepal. The government agencies, uh, political parties, community organizations and private sector needs to work hand in hand to materialize the dream of uh, young Nepalese. Nepal's leaders have also realized that development alone is not feasible without a stable government, a constitution and local elections. The recent political consensus to draft a new constitution will help create a conducive environment to attract investments in several sectors and also give the people of Nepal a much needed hope of a better future to come. Muluka Dheri Jasu Jilaka Niji Tata Sabjanik Bhavan Rarastri Mahatuka Mahatpun Bhati Purva Dharu Jasti Dursanchar Vimanasal Rajmar Ra Ranitik Pool Pariatan Kasubida Ra Kehi Rasti Dharohar Ra Sampada Ajay Sade Ra Drusne Rahekachan in a Sanaratanara Subidako Ard Lier, Sati Gras Chetruko Punanirman Kaj Agi Brauna Parnetha. In the horizon, it's imminent we will have the political stability. With that, I think Nepal now is a very good country, place for investment. With this earthquake, the disaster we've had, there seems to be a serious mindset change in the political leadership uh, to rebuild, reconstruct, reunite, and hopefully the constitution will come also with the space. So from all these points, I think uh, there's never been a better time for investment in Nepal. Nepal has always been a good place for investment. Come back to Nepal, be the first to come and invest in this country and take the advantage from coming to an economy which is about to take off. Join us as we work together to build our nation and transform our adversities into opportunities to achieve a dynamic and prosperous Nepal.